It was a Sunday morning. I was three months behind on the rent, and my editor had given me another bum assignment, an interview with some hacker about the end of the world. Where had it all gone wrong? Was I never going to get that lucky break? What had happened to my glittering career in journalism? And then, everything changed. It was quiet, but that didn't mean the place was empty. The door was securely locked. I needed to find another way if I was going to get into that apartment. The door was securely locked. I needed to find another way if I was going to get into that apartment. No way was I doing that! The window was securely locked. Damn! The gap was just too tight to get the card in. balconies was crazy, but the story had me hooked and I wasn't about to let it go. It's true, a press card can get you in anywhere. Just one little wiggle between the window and the lock and the latch lifted. Here goes. The wardrobe was stuffed with unwashed clothes. Disgusting. Whoever did the dusting here never got round to the TV.
The door led to the rest of the apartment. I couldn't hear anything. search the body. It was still warm. All I could find was his business card. Vernon Blier, software consultant. This was the crazy geek I'd been due to meet, all right. Maybe he wasn't so crazy after all. There was nothing else to be found on his body. It was a shell casing from the gun the killer used. I held on to it. I needed any clue I could find. Get away from those doors. Over here. Where I can see you. Okay. Whatever you say, I've been waiting a long time for the chance to do this. So, we've met before? Oh, yes. Really? You obviously didn't make an impression the first time. You won't be so clever when I've killed you. Time's up! from those doors. Over here. Where I can see you. Okay. Whatever you say. I've been waiting a long time for the chance to do this. So, we've met before? Oh, yes. Really? You obviously didn't make an impression the first time. You won't be so clever when I've killed you. Time's up. <clears throat> I never forget a face, so why had I forgotten hers? Ow! Oof! Damn! Come back, you salop! Where did she disappear to? Maybe there was a clue on the answer machine. You have three new messages. Vernon, darling, it's Mamo here. I'm at my wit's end. I've given your trousers three washes at a hundred degrees and that stain still won't come out. It's more like cement than mayonnaise. Anyway, the ironing's done. Oh, I hate these machines. Au revoir, à dimanche. This is Nico Coladia from La Liberté. Just to say I'll be round at eight, as promised. Goodbye. Vernon! It's Beatrice. Good luck with the reporter. I'll be waiting for you in the gardens afterwards. Love you, Snooky. Snooky? Perhaps I should make a call. I wondered if Andre might have any ideas. 
André Lobino. Hi, André. My dear Nico, how are you? Having one of my interesting days? I was about to interview a guy when somebody shot him. My God, are you hurt? I'm okay, but the killer escaped before I could stop her. Her? A woman? That's right. And it's not the only strange thing. I think this is more than just your ordinary homicide. Oh, dear. Are you off on one of your little adventures again, Nico? Hey, what do you mean? I suppose at least that idiot Stobar isn't involved this time. Andre, I was nearly killed. Okay, okay. Trouble is, I can't find any leads to follow up. The killer must have left a trail of some kind. Search the whole area for clues. I'll see what I can turn up. Andre, I'm going to get back to the investigation. Okay, Nico. Oh, and what I said earlier, I'm sorry. Don't worry, Andre. I ask for it sometimes. But you know, George, he was a lot of things. But he was never an idiot. If you need my help, be sure to call me. Perhaps I should make a call. Someone had thrown away a bank statement. The trash can contained no clues. I pulled back the rug. One of the floorboards was loose. The floorboard lifted up easily. In the space below, there was a small safe. The combination could be the same as the number on the statement, but that slim hope vanished as soon as I keyed in the numbers. Damn! When in doubt, search the trash. But there was nothing of interest. There had to be a clue around here somewhere. But not in there. Nothing but trash. It was just an old sheet of newspaper but you never know what might come in handy.
Bonjour. Yes. I wonder if you can help me. I doubt it. And anyway, I'm on duty. It's pretty quiet this morning. It's Sunday. What do you expect? Did you see a dark-haired woman a short time ago? No. You seem very sure. My job is to look at cars, not people. I must find her. She nearly killed me. How terribly dramatic. As a matter of fact, it was. Spare me the story, please. Do you happen to know a young computer programmer called Vernon? Does he have a car? Not that I'm aware of. Then it is highly unlikely that I have met him. Take a look at this. Interesting. 12 millimeter. And recently fired. That's right. But how do you know about firearms? Let us just say, I have not always been a traffic warden. What else can you tell me about it? From the head stamp, manufactured in Prague. And the gun itself? The new Magnum, if I'm not wrong. You can tell all that from the shell? You just have to know what to look for. It came from the gun of the woman who tried to kill me. This is not a Saturday night special. You are dealing, I think, with professional killers. Can you help me? Fire away. Ha! My little joke. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Well, hi there, beautiful. You are looking for something? I might be. <laughs> you have come to the right place. Right place, right guy, huh? That's how it looks to me, too. Were you around a little earlier? Well, I've been around a while. Oh, that's good. I'm a reporter, and I need to ask you a few questions. Did you see a woman run past a little earlier? Don't think so. Women usually slow down on this corner. They probably can't believe what they're hearing. What? I said I can quite believe it. You could try a twitcher. Who's he? She. The traffic warden. Doesn't miss a thing. Do you happen to know a guy called Vernon? The coder? Yes. Yeah, he's cool. Hangs out in the park with his girlfriend. Where's the park? Just down there, where Twitcher hangs about. About Vernon? Yeah? I'm afraid he's been killed. Shot. Oh man, that's too bad. Still a neighborhood like this, only the brave survive. Huh? So where's your posse? What? Big guy like you? Gotta have a posse, surely. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, I, uh, I got two. Wow. Uh, how about you? you? You got a posse? Oh, yeah. But I like to keep it secret. <laughs> gotcha. I'd love to hang out with you, but I have work to do. Easy come, easy go. See you around, baby.
I considered leaving the area. but decided to remain here. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. I tell you, I've had enough of this job. <sighs> day in, day out, the same old drudgery, huh? Why don't you give it up, then? Give it up? <laughs> Who do you think you are telling me to give up my job? I thought... Thought you were too good for the likes of me, I expect? No, not at all. I didn't mean... I was a dancer once, you know. At Le Moulin Rouge. So stick that on your velo and ride it. That's wonderful. Of course. Alphonse, <laughs> he wouldn't have any of it. I'll not have you flushing your knickers out of Paris, he said. Get a proper job. So I did. A real liberated man. He was an angel. I won't hear a word against him. Do you know a young man called Vernon? I'm sure I don't know what you're suggesting. I am a married woman. Of course, between you and me, in my dancing days, it was a different matter. Did you see a dark-haired woman a short time ago? No. Perhaps that dear uh, traffic warden might help. She always knows what's going on. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Au revoir. What have we here? It was a wig, an expensive one too, but more important, it was an exact copy of my own style. That's why the traffic warden didn't see a dark-haired woman. The label inside had been cut out. The killer had covered her tracks. Almost. There were a few strands of blonde hair inside. So the woman I'm after really has blonde hair, not black.
Bonjour. Yes. Did you see a blonde woman running by here earlier? Yes. Around your size, good build, muscle tone, shoe size three, maybe four, and I think not French. That's amazing. No, not amazing. Just good training. Training? I'm sorry. I'm not at liberty to tell you anything more. Take a look at this wig. Very interesting. As wigs go. I found it. Well, aren't you the clever one? It belonged to the killer. So, you really are connected with the shooting. That's right. And I need all the help I can get. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Bonjour, madame. Pah! You again, huh? Can't you see I'm busy? This wig belongs to someone I'm looking for. Nice. Mm. At Le Moulin Rouge, we always had such beautiful wigs. Have you seen anyone wearing this wig? No. Was she a dancer? Something much worse. Pah! A singer, then. Have you seen a young blonde woman by any chance? I certainly have. Skinny looking thing, like you. Thanks. Which way did she go? She got into a sports car and drove off. Do you happen to know the make of car? What do you take me for? Some kind of mechanic? You'll have to ask someone else. Just one thing. Your husband, Alphonse, is he around? No. I thought perhaps he might have seen something. It's unlikely. Why? He left me 20 years ago. Ran away. With a singer? That's amazing! How did you know? Lucky guess. Thanks for your help. Goodbye. Au revoir! Hi. Well, hi there, beautiful. Nice board. Uh, it's not uh, just a board, it's uh, what you do with it. So I hear. The woman I'm looking for is a blonde. <laughs> Me too. You're a funny guy. Hey, I am too, please. But seriously, didn't you say you were looking for a woman with dark hair? Did I? You've got me all confused now. I uh, know. Uh, I have that effect on women. I haven't seen any women running around. Most babes tend to stop when they see how I can handle a board. Don't suppose you saw a sports car in the area earlier? The red E-type Jag, you mean? Yes. Why did you notice it? I used to run one a little like it. Did you happen to get the registration number? Hey, there's only one set of numbers I like, and I'm not talking shoe size, huh? Thanks. Anyway. Take a look at this wig. Yeah, nice, but not really my style. It belonged to the woman who killed Vernon. Woman, huh? <laughs> it's a cool city out there. Well, I'd better get back to my investigating. A uh, woman's work is never done, huh?
Bonjour. Yes. Did you see the E-type Jag that was in the area earlier? Yes, I did. I believe it belonged to the killer. And they say crime doesn't pay. What can you tell me about it? It was parked illegally. I gave it a ticket. Great. Do you have the registration number? Uh, here it is. 451 CAC 75. Merci. Can you tell me anything else about the car? Hmm. You know, there was some kind of mask on the passenger seat. Mask? You mean like a child's mask? No, an old mask. The kind they wear in a theater. Merci, madame. You've been a great help. It is but a courtesy from one professional to another. Of course. Sounds like the police are on their way. I would appreciate it if you kept our little conversation to yourself. You understand? Of course. I wouldn't want to blow your cover. Exactly. By the way, just who do you work for? Can I trust you? Of course. One day soon, the aliens will land. We are preparing to fight them. You may join us if you wish. That's uh, very kind of you. But I have to go now. Au revoir. a murder. We are questioning everyone in the area. What is your name? Nicole Collard. It's her, all right. Please come with us. And this is... Come on, speak up. Nicole Collard. Aha. The woman he had arranged to meet. She's a tough one, I think, sir. Like me to loosen her tongue a little? Not quite yet. Your identity card, please. My press card. A journalist. Typical. You have a problem with journalists? Only the spineless, lying, interfering variety. Looks like I'm in trouble then. She's the murderer, monsieur. Lock her up before she kills us all. Control yourself, madame. I'm conducting an investigation here. And we're getting on so well. How did you know the dead man? He contacted me through my paper. He wanted to meet. Why? Some nonsense about the end of the world. Why did you kill him? I didn't. But you admit you were here. He was already dead when I arrived. I broke in through the bedroom window. The killer was still here. And? We fought through there, in the kitchen. Then she ran off down the fire escape, and I lost her. Hmm. There are certainly signs of a struggle. Inspector. We. Oui? How did you know Vernon was due to meet me? Your message on the answer phone. The woman I fought was really a blonde. The neighbor said she had dark hair. She wore a wig. How very convenient for you. Have you any idea why he was killed? None at all. Perhaps it was to stop him talking to me. Not everybody rates journalists so highly, mademoiselle. I've got the number of the killer's car. My, you are being helpful. Are you quite sure you're a journalist? Do you want the number or not? Very well. 451 CAC 75. Thanks. Here's the wig the killer wore. I'll take that as evidence. Where did you find it? Over the wall at the back of the apartment. Oh, I see. Out. Oh, Terrible. You've been framed. Correct, Inspector. She's the killer. I saw her with my own eyes. Am I free to go? Don't let her get away. The evidence is clear enough. I'm placing you under arrest, Mademoiselle Collard. Officer, take her away. With pleasure, sir. 